Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Um, this is my latest video for Cryptex 30 day painting challenge and also an update for Idic Beers Mantark. So, progress so far is the jet bike. Now, it's picking up a little bit of the light. So I've had to put a, um, I put a coat of matte varnish over it um, for the simple reason of I don't want any of that artwork to be chipped or rubbed off because there is a lot of painstaking work <laughs> gone into that and I think I don't know who'd be more pissed off Nick or myself if any of this paint got chipped off or rubbed off so like I said in a previous video there's um there's custom purples mixed up through this so um, I will probably put another coat believe it or not um, yeah I will I'll put another coat on it uh, before I actually send it back off to Nick because um, <clears throat> I do not want this any of this to be chipped um, all the gemstones are done I've done all the like I've neatened up all in through here there was a couple of little bits of blue that I didn't particularly like um, I've gone back over the shrieking catapults. Um, the light's not the best. Um, you can see all the gemstones have been done. I've done the OSL work around the gemstones. I have done the navigation screen. So the navigation screen has actually got... Can you see that little blips? So there's two red blips and two green blips. So green blips good, red blips bad. So I just thought that was a bit of a little extra detail that um, Nick might get a kick out of. Uh, as far as the seat's concerned, I think I've been through this. Um, the reason the seat looks a little bit rough is because Nick actually had the guy glued in there um, before I got got to him. And um, so I just popped him off. But like I said in the earlier vids, guys, that um, once the man tucks back on, this sort of... In here, like that little blob there, you're never going to see that ever again. Um, so underneath, I think I showed you guys, is the OSL work. All the pinstriping. Um, I've just got to paint this magnet here. I've just got to give that a little coat of purple and a varnish. I haven't varnished underneath yet either. Um, so yeah, that's the jet bike. Am I happy with it? Oh yeah. Yep. Fucking how could I not be? Look at that. Pardon the... I won't say French. Pardon the Australian. We swear a lot over here. So there you go. That is... Now that the varnish has gone on it, you can really see that 3D effect come to the fore. You can see how I've run... With shading the purple with with doing layers of purple you can see where I've done like a hard edge highlight that's ingrained along that part of the canopy um, and I've just noticed I've put a little bit of gold there what a dickhead anyway I'll paint over that um, no hard edge highlight in this side because in every video I've put in so far the light is coming from that side that's why all of the paint on this side is lighter that's why all of the highlighting points, basically, um, like the yellow here is lighter than the yellow there. The gold, the yellow on this bit is actually lighter than that one there. I know it's pretty, pretty insane detail, but it's the kind of stupid shit that I do. So, um, And sometimes, to be honest, guys, it can just make your miniature better, like this stripping along here. It's actually, you can't tell this light's been a pain in the ass, but it's actually this side is this side is lighter. Trust me. Now, the Mantark or Ortark himself, there he is. Check that out as my phone goes through 45 different colors. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting a message. That's the Imperial symbol. The Imperial, Imperial March. It's my message tone. Um, 
Now as far as the Autark is concerned, I don't know if I how close I can get him. There is a lot of colours on this guy. Um, so what did I do? I started off with a with a spray undercoat um, of Chaos Black. Um, and that was a really heavy undercoat. I, I covered every piece of this miniature with the um, with the Chaos Black. And then what I did was I did a ghosting a ghosting coat, which means I got skull white and very lightly just ghosted a coat of skull white over the top of the black. And what that's done is any of the points, any of the raised points, like any of these, see all this armor where I've done the yellow? You heard me puss on earlier about um, never paint yellow over black, so that's why I did the ghosting coat of white, because it picks up these hard edges, picks up the knee pads, but it gives me the recess of black, where I went in with Deadly Nightshade, um, and then custom mix of purple and Deadly Nightshade, and then um, I, I mixed uh, light purple with about a five to one of water, um, and then I sort of, I did another another glaze, I made my own glaze and glazed up over the um, over the blue you probably can't pick it out but yeah that's what it is um, as far as the, the cloak is uh, cloak, the belt so the belt is damn this light is better is that any better? that might be better um that's Probably a bit better. So you can see where I've done the purple, and I've actually bought, I've bought the purple. It's gone up to warlock purple. Then I've done, then I painted bone. Where these highlights? I wanted where the highlights to be. Um, I painted the bone over the white. Um, and then it was sunburst yellow, bad moon yellow, then a mix of both. Um, a little tiny bit of orange in there. Then um, white again, and then I made a bone and yellow uh, highlight just to, to pull the real shininess out of the white. And you'll see, so it sort of changes, it'll change from really dark purple to a light purple all the way up to a yellow. Just a pretty bizarre thing to do, but you know, <laughs> what else do you guys expect from me now? There's his sick ass leather pants. I've actually just kept that little bit in there. Um, I don't know whether Nick wants to put a magnet there or not. I didn't drill it, but I actually I, I glued it and then snapped it off a, a, a flying base, a flying stand. So Nick might be able to get a magnet in there and I painted it around it just to give it a bit of a recess. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Nick's got better cameras than me, so hopefully when he gets this miniature, what I've done is I've actually, he's got blue eyeballs, not, well he's got blue eyes. Um, I've painted the teeth, the mouth, all that sort of shit. Um, I, I've painted, I, I thinned down, it's about 10 to 1 of, um, I think it's Abaddon Black, into the recesses of his eyes. Um, then I used one of my Tamiya brushes. So, pachoo, that bad boy there. Um... I used that to get in there with the white, and then I used like a really stupid little brush here somewhere. You probably won't even be able to see the. Can you see? See that? That's the sort of brushes I was telling Cryptek and the boys the other the other night that I actually um, I've been known to custom make my own brushes, and by that I mean I will cut bristles off shit. I will. I'll hit bristles with the hammer um, just to flare them out so they can hold more paint but on a smaller scale so you've got smaller smaller brush less bristles um, but if you give them a tap with the hammer on your natural bristles it'll actually it'll start to separate the follicles if that makes any sense it's all to do with microns so you're actually adjusting the micron rate of the hair um, and it'll carry more paint but that's the Autark or Mantark I should say 
and this is the colour I'm going for for the arm. Uh, no, I'm not. I haven't even started painting this yet. No shit, right? Yeah. Anyway. So, I don't really don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. It's it's the one sort of... It's the one thing going into this miniature that I... Have no idea. Um, I was thinking going from the, the purple, like the Deadly Nightshade, um, and doing transitional colours all the way up to a yellow tip. Um, and then doing a blue glowing OSL sort of in these in these parts here. Um, and the arm I was going to do, I was actually going to sort of do it a, a goldy sort of a colour to make it look like a jousting arm. But anyway, I'll work that out. I have to work it out the next couple of days. I think I promised I'd get this in the post by Friday for Nick. But anyway, I'm sure he won't mind. Um, as far as the banners are concerned, I had to put a gloss, uh, not a gloss, a varnish on them. Um, just again because I don't, I don't want them chipped. I friggin' hate for these things to be chipped or scratched or anything. Um, but you can see where I've done the highlighting. Uh, like I said, you Nick will probably do a showcase on this when he gets it. Um, but you've seen that banner. Um, this is the other banner with the phoenix, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys liked. Now. The big thing is, was the dragon on the other side. Now, you heard me puss on about the dragon. Um, I didn't like it, so... Look at that, changed it. And, yes, I've painted a little craft world. Some spies of a craft world in there. Um, there's flames coming up from the dragon. I've just, I'm just going to pull this yellow back in a little bit. Make it a bit blacker in there, but there you go. There's a... There's a wicked little dragon, so I'm not changing him, I think he looks pretty cool. So, he's staying as is, and there's a, a burning craft world. Make of that what you will. Um, so yeah, there we go guys, Cryptek and Nick. That's, um, there it is, the bad boy. Hopefully he will, um, I'm sure I'll be finished him by Friday. Positive of it. Alright guys, so usual youtube -y things with subscribing and liking and commenting and yeah cheers for watching um i'm up over 150 subs already so that was a big jump from 100 in like a week um so everyone that supported me and and, and shared my videos great guys brilliant absolutely fantastic um i really do appreciate it and also again um the monday night with uh cryptech if if you guys that sub to me and sub to Cryptek and Idic Beer and Courage and Honor and all those all those great guys, um, if you can jump on, come and have a chat with us because it's um it's a cool little hangout and we have fun and we do manage to get a fair bit painted even though we talk a lot of shit. But yeah, hope to see you guys there. Um, right, cheers for watching as always. See you later.